Hello again, minions. Wheezy here with another weekly wrap up. Today we're going to go over what you missed from the channel this week, as well as talk about your interest slash me doing some videos on maybe some behind the scenes stuff. So let's go have a chat. Okay, minions, let's jump right into what got posted to the channel this week. The first video I posted was a Cold War free-for-all game. Um, actually, it was three, I believe, where I just did a live commentary. Jumped in um, after Treyarch added the new uh, ability to create custom loadouts. Um, I decided to, you know, jump back into some Cold War. Really, at this point, it feels like self-flagellation. It feels like I'm kind of punishing myself to an extent. But I played a few games. It was entertaining in that it's still frustrating. But here's a clip so you can get an idea of what that was like. What? No. That, okay. Oh, this fucking game. I swear to God. I'll just take both of those. And, oh, I was like, and the sniper, but nope, because I forgot snipers. You weren't even aiming at me! You piece of shit! Wow. All right. Okay. Sure. Ah, this fucking game. I heard you. Let's see how not close to me this shot was. Right? Okay. Sure. I mean, if you've got a bullet, it just kills. Apparently. Got another one that didn't get anywhere near me? Yep. Still. Still nowhere fucking near me. Alright. Yeah, if you're looking for a little bit of that old school Wheezy Rage, Cold War is prime for the pickings on that one. Uh, after that, as I mentioned in that video, I decided to just jump straight over and play some free-for-all in Modern Warfare just because when Cold War really upsets me, it helps me feel grounded and, and happy to immediately see the contrast in Modern Warfare and see how much just better Modern Warfare still is. So the next video I posted was me uh, playing a couple of games of free-for-all with the Odin uh, naked as I was, I'm still doing kind of the reptile camo unlocks. Um, and so I did the same thing live, commentated a couple of free-for-alls in Modern Warfare, which was much more fun. So here is a clip from that. What the? Jeez, that guy like spawned right behind me. I could hear him. I hear you. That was you again. Oh god. Personal radar drone standing by. That guy's an idiot. Mike, you're gonna be the only one I kill? I don't want it to be that way. I want to kill other people. So go check both of those out. They're kind of a pair of videos. Uh, that complement each other really well. After that, I decided to try another short again this Wednesday. Um, I didn't have anything quite as as hilariously entertaining as really pissing someone off, although I do have one in the pocket for next week that's in that vein. Um, but I decided to cut together some, you know, quick little awesome knife streaks from the 80s Action Heroes playlist um, and just kind of set that together and and make a fun little short out of it so once again rather than teasing you guys i will just play that entire short for you right now Identified. 
Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep up with the shorts or not. We'll see. I mean, the last short kind of, after a couple of days, kind of blew up. This one isn't so much. We'll see if it gets any traction. Um, playing around with shorts. Let me know what you guys think of the shorts. Are they worth including? Do they feel? Shorts feel a little clickbaity, you know, since they're like TikTok-y, Instagram-y. I don't know, tell me. I might keep playing with them, we'll see. Uh, after that, I posted a video. As I'm recording this, it's actually currently uploading, but I will have, by the time this video goes live, posted another War College breakdown. This time I broke down uh, four different longer clips from two gameplays, um, sniping, doing hard scope, stationary sniping with some tips and tactics, um, a breakdown on how to successfully integrate strategy and tactics into doing something like sniping when you're not using a custom build that can increase your ADS and stuff like that. So I was using the Naked HDR, again for reptile camos, found a couple of clips that I thought were instructive, broke them down, here's a clip from that. Part of this breakdown is to show you how your playstyle can adapt and needs to adapt based on what you're trying to accomplish in the game. If I were just pure try hard trying to win the game, I'd switch weapons and go and do the capture here, but that's not the, the point of what we're doing here. So again, I see the teammates moving that way. I hear footsteps nearby. I hear two sets of footsteps, so I kill that guy and know there's someone else there. I go to pick up weapon. It's a pistol that guy's got out, so I switch over to the assault rifle, and I want to make sure that I have that uh, in my pocket in case I need to defend another flank from the right hand side. So I'm looking for more snipes here, being aware of enemies coming up. I'm listening for footsteps, get a kill there, seeing those gunshots coming from that side, get another kill, see this guy hopping over there, clean that up with the triple kill. Then I hear footsteps again, super close. Matter of fact, this guy kind of, well, not here, here in just a second. So here I can hear footsteps super close. Like if the guy had come around the box to the left instead of the right, I'd have been immediately dead. Um, so yeah, I'm really trying to get in a rhythm of keeping up with the Wheezy's War College series, the supplementals. I'm working on Enemy Engagement 101, the next full module for Wheezy's War College. Uh, so hopefully you can look forward to that in the upcoming couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, so that was what was on the channel this week. So in the vein of, of that kind of stuff, you guys have been around the channel recently. You've seen that I've done, in addition to some gameplay stuff and my Wheezy's War College stuff and fun gameplays, I've also been doing more kind of helpful how-to stuff, including some hardware-based stuff. So if you guys go back in the relatively recent past, I did a couple of videos on how to bypass HDCP, I did a short video on my PC build, just that was more informational than a how-to. I did a video not that far in the past on how to replace uh, the fan in a PS4 Pro so it doesn't sound like a jet engine. Um, so I'm thinking about doing some more kind of behind the scenes stuff, doing kind of meta videos almost on my video editing process, my capture process, maybe my render settings for Vegas, how I, what tools I use to kind of put my videos together, maybe even a hardware video of my setup. Um, but stuff like that, that won't be one video, that'll be a series of videos of kind of, um, you know, how the sausage is made on Wheezy's Gaming, maybe even some information about how I build out the website. Um, but I'm curious to see you guys' feedback, whether or not that's something you're interested in, if maybe there's something in that realm that you guys are really interested in that you wanna hear about, like how, Wheezy, how do you do what's such and such, how do you, Capture game chat. What do you like? If you guys have something specific you want to look at, let me know, and I'll and I'll put together a video to kind of give you guys an idea of how I do things. Uh, otherwise, I have some ideas on on what I'm going to put together, so I'm uh, expect to see some stuff like that. Render settings, editing workflows, things like that. Um, I don't want those to take away from the fun and the gameplay, but putting out informational stuff that helps other people and you guys. If you guys are interested in content creation, I'm not trying to keep this all to myself. I want I want this community if you guys remember again a, a weekly update that i did a couple months back where i talked about open sourcing the channel that's still in the pipeline too i really want this channel to be very open and um and to share information not to hoard it to myself the idea isn't to trap everybody here and say wheezy creates and you will consume i i love doing this i love playing games content creation i love teaching you how to shoot people in the face and I love interacting with you guys. So if I can share anything that helps you guys 
build content of your own or maybe interact better with mine or however you guys want to do it let me know I want to I want to keep growing this thing I've seen some real consistent growth lately and I'm excited for that to continue so thank you and welcome to all of the new minions all of the old minions you guys are still my loves and I will continue seeing you around and let's just keep things going so leave comments on this on other videos interact talk to me and we'll get things just keep things rolling we're just gonna keep them rolling see you minions